All right, morning enthusiasts. Do you struggle to get out of bed in the morning? How about losing your energy by midday? Do you experience brain fog in the morning or lack of motivation? Well, you are not alone. I heard you loud and clear, and that's why I created the Hit Savers app. I have great news. It is live. So go to the Google Play Store and the Apple Store to download it for your best morning routine ever. You'll get more energy, mental clarity, productivity, and it will even position you to find your purpose. That's right. Hit Savers will prime you to get up, dress up, and show up in your life every single day. Go to www.looneedlewis.com slash hitsavers app to download it for free today. I'll see you in there. You're listening to the best morning routine ever podcast. The show that proves no one stumbles upon success ever. With your host, Lou Need. Every Mondays and Thursdays, we deliver cold heart evidence behind the power of a robust morning routine. Get ready to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Hello, morning enthusiasts. Welcome to the Best Morning Routine Ever podcast. My name is Looney Lewis, and I want to introduce you to the show. But let me ask you, breakups are never fun, are they? They're like the worst. And I had to bring an expert on the show today to discuss Um, relationships, how to get our best relationships going, how to deal with breakups properly. So today's special guest is Roman Mironov. Roman is a relationship coach in Toronto. He helps people create amazing and inviolable relationships. He has been into self-improvement for over a decade and brings his best ideas and tools to people he works with. But before we bring him out, where are my fellows at? I want to ask you, have you ever worn a suit from the store? Was it baggy? Were the hems too long? How about the fit? Did it look like you stepped out of 1970s and look like a broke pimp? Now, have you ever gotten a suit tailored just for you? If you've ever had a suit tailored, then you know that it's very different from buying a one size fit all suit from the store. A suit tailored just for you? Oh my you know it fits different. The pants are different. The way you walk in it is totally different. Why? Because it fits to you and not the other way around. Let me tell you about Unique Master Tailor Studio. They have tailors around the world waiting to craft the next masterpiece made just for you. Unique Master Tailor Studio makes luxury tailored suits shirts, vests, three-piece suits, and get this, even shoes. That's right, custom shoes. There are so many options. You can add any design, color, or any different contrast variation at no extra cost. Pretty amazing. So how does it work? Well, first you choose your fabric, over 500 choices of all 100% cotton to premium Egyptian cotton. Very classy. You can do premium solid patterns and even flannel shirts. Y'all, they even have water resistant fabrics. How cool is that? From there, you choose your style. You can go long sleeve, short sleeve, or if you're in between, long sleeve roll up. You can custom design the front, back of the shirt, the collar, the cuff, and even the pocket. Now that you have your style, then you go on to choose your contrast. Here you can pick a different fabric color to add an accent look. You can either have it in the inside collar and cuff, outside the collar, inside front or outside of the shirt. From there, you get your measurement. You can do this by body size, measuring yourself using standard sizes like small, medium, large, etc. Or you can use automatic sizing by adding your height, your weight, and they will calculate your size for you. From there, you decide if you want the signature standard fit or the Euro slim fit. I mean, that is truly custom tailored, y'all. Unique Master Tailor Studio provides worldwide shipping. Let me tell you, the prices are out of this world. The custom shirts are only $49.95. 
you can get a custom suit y'all for only $219 and a three piece suit for just $289. And that is the most expensive item on the website. Such bargain prices for top quality designs. I urge you to go to www.unique.mastertailorstudio.com so you can begin to dress like James Bond. All right, morning enthusiasts, back to the show. Roman is a phenomenal teacher. Roman is all about teaching insanely actionable strategies for happier relationships. And today we are going to learn a couple of those strategies. Roman, welcome to the show. Hi, hi Lenny. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Ah, uh-huh, Yes, such a delight to have you on the show. I'm looking forward to to this topic and to talking about, you know, how one can find love because being single sucks <laughs> <laughs> and heartbreaks really takes a toll on you physiologically and, and mentally and physically. So I want to, um, before we dive into um, these strategies and these tools, tell the audience um, a little bit about yourself. How'd you, how'd you become a relationship coach? You know, I I was a pro- professional translator for 14 years before I moved to Canada. So I moved to Canada one one year ago, and you know it was a very big shift for me. And I decided that this was also a good point for me to switch careers, and that's what I did. And wh- one re- one reason for becoming a coach was that I wanted to work with people after sitting in front of my computer for 14 years. So I wanted to be helpful. I wanted to, to help at least a person a day. And I was, another reason was that I, I've been a fan of self-improvement for so many, for so many years. It's growth is self growth is very important for me. And I also wanted to be helping with it, with, to, with other people. And also I went through a very painful divorce and I wanted to help people who deal with the same challenge in their life. And I, after my divorce, I also, you know, really studied dating relationships. And I actually took almost every tip and went out and tested it on, on myself. So I wanted to use all this knowledge to help people. Mm. And so it, experience brings you here. And passion, right? And yeah, well, of course, and passion to help people and, and to actually um, add value in that way. Yes, exactly. Which is significant. Yeah. So um, tell us about some of the strategies you learned, because um, I understand being single, is, especially with the era we live in where there's Tinder and <laughs> Bumblebee and all these sites that are designed to connect people, but um, some are not having success. Tell us about some of the strategies to um, to attract the right individual. I would say the, um, the best thing that you can do is actually to set a goal for yourself, to find someone. And, you know, by it, it does two things for you. First, it makes this whole thing conscious for you. You become intentional. You start looking for the person. You actually start taking action, especially if you write down an actionable, an actionable plan for that goal and you set specific time by which you want to attract that person and specific time during the week when you want to work on this. Because otherwise, you know, it's very easy to postpone this thing, to procrastinate on it, and you'll never get any results. <laughs> Seriously. And the second the second reason you want to do this is because when you write down the type of person that you want to attract, you also start thinking about what you need to become in order to attract that person. Because these two things come together. Because if, frankly, if you're if you're not that attractive, it's hard for you to attract someone who's at at a very at a much higher level of attraction than you than you. So create also a list of things that you need to work on in yourself in order to attract that person. Let's say you want to get healthier. You want to, you want to look better. You want to become more confident or as a man or as a woman, you might want to become more, you know, more emotional, more in the moment, more in flow. 
Yeah. Um, I like the, the notion of writing the list to become more aware of who you have to become to, to attract this individual. Cause you have to change, right? You, um, you have to become a new person, a new being. And I, myself, I did the same list when I was looking for my fiance, I had a list that was like two pages long of all the things <laughs> right. you laugh at me, but you're confirming that I did the right thing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, yeah. That, that was the right well, it was the right thing to do, right? All the things that I did want. And then I, I I don't remember doing the piece that you just added in, in realizing that a list of who, what, who I needed to become. What did I need to change in myself? It, it's always, um, I pushed it out onto the other person, like come perfect um, and I will be fine. But you raise a very good point about working on ourselves turning the finger inward and says, okay, what do I need to change um, to be to be amicable, to be friendly, to be loving to this person that's going to come into my life? So how do you help people face that hard truth of like, you're the culprit? <laughs> it's not, you're not going to find somebody that's going to make you perfect. You too need to do some work. How do you relay that truth? Well, you, you know, I, I usually do this through discussion through discussion, through asking a lot of coaching questions and going back to the person's past to show them how, how thinking otherwise actually did not produce any results for them. For example, if they always tried to change their partner, their previous partner, and it never worked, it only caused resentment in both of them. So I show this and I, I just ask them, well, did, did it get any results for you? And they say, no. And I say, of course, no, because you can't change. You can't change the other person. You you have to be the change. You, you have to, um, yeah, you have to, um, there's a really good quote that says, seek to understand rather than being understood. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the habits by Stephen Covey. Right. Yeah. Seek first to understand that to be understood. Yeah. I love it. Actually, yeah, that's yeah. One, one of my favorite books. The high seven habits of highly successful, successful yeah. people. Highly effective people. Right? Highly effective, highly effective people. Um, yeah, we're reading the same books. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell, tell us how you help bring, um, help others bring passion and joy into their life, especially after a breakup. Okay. So in general, I think if we're not talking about the breakup, but it also works for the, for the, for the breakup. First, you need to have things in your life that make you happy. Because if you're not happy and you're looking for someone else to make you happy, this is not going to work. Because what, what if the other person is looking for someone like that as well? So you, you, you come together, you're both unhappy and you're waiting for, for each other to do something to make you happy. No, that's, that's not going to fly. No way. So I would, I would recommend basically to work on something that's your passion. Then you need to have hobbies. And I would also add that you need to appreciate life and be very grateful for what you have. So these are, these are three things that will make you happy. Passion, hobbies, and being grateful. Passion, habit? Hobbies. Hobbies. Okay, yeah. hobbies and being, and being grateful. Yes. I love the notion of being grateful, and I want to talk about that in a second. But before we get into that, I want to, um, I, I t like to tell my, my, my friends that, you know, I'm getting ready, not looking for someone to complete me, but someone to compliment. Me. Exactly. Exactly. Because you do all the work in, if you do it right in the self-development, in working on your shortcomings and on working and looking inward, then when the other person come, you can really can't put so much responsibility upon them to make you happy to make your life worthwhile. Like that has to be an inside job. Exactly, exactly. And that's what, if we, if we go back to Stephen Covey, that's what he calls interdependence, the third level of relationships. That's when you, you don't really need the other person, but you feel that your life is more 
well, you, you feel better about your life if you have that other person. So that's interdependence. Right. They're, they're not completing you. They're complimenting you, right? That is all- yes. Yes. So, so uh, w- how about how about your relationship with fiance? Is it complimentary? It is. It, it it's exactly what I I pictured. Remember, I told you earlier. I put the list together yes. of what I was looking for. Every item on the list. And he came with everything I requested. Everything except wow. everything except for one item, Roman, and it threw me off. It, 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 I put on my list that I was interested in um, getting in a relationship with a white male. Uh As you know, I'm a black female. And I was like, oh, white male would be suitable. He's actually from Africa. Mm -hmm. And so everything else on that list, he possessed but that one item. And I was blindsided by that. I was so rigid on this list. I was like, no, that can't be it. (laughs) It's missing (laughs) one thing. (laughs) One thing's missing off the list. And it turns out um, he is the perfect match for me. And now we're both business owners. We both have our, we have our own like masterminds. If you were thinking grow rich and, you know, the closest person to you becomes your mastermind. You can bounce ideas off of them. We have that. And we have this like remarkable, great relationship because I was cognizant on who I, I wanted. I had the list. I had the goals, right? Yes. And, and I manifested in this relationship that I currently have. Do you find that with your with your clients when you're working with your clients? Do you have to um, tell them to picture it as if it's already done? Do you have to tell them to manifest it to to visualize it? Absolutely, absolutely. I do this myself, and I'm a, a huge believer in this. I I do visualize my goals at least twice a day in the morning and before I go to bed, and I sell this to my clients like crazy (laughs) because it works it works right right it does (laughs) if if you're not doing it you're missing out because it goes hand in hand with the piece you just mentioned about being grateful that's how you add passion into your life is being grateful right that was step number three you mentioned and that gratefulness is visualization at its best it's you saying i am thankful that this will come to pass I am thankful that it is already done, right? Your clear image you're holding in front of you that you're, you're, you're aiming for because Zig Ziglar says you cannot hit a target you do not have. All right. Yeah, that's, that's true. I love him as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so you have to know what your goal is. You know what to, you have to know what your intent is, right? And how to go after it. Now, I want to know about the plan. Right. We can put the goal in place. We can have the list. We can have the the visualization piece in, um, together. How do we execute the plan? What is the plan that you walk your client through? Well, with my clients, I, I, I take them through the process of, first of all, I ask them to to have the end in mind that they want. So we start from the end. And from that end, we develop yeah, just specific action items. They are they're different every time because you know there are no two no two clients that are absolutely identical because for example for there is you know if we if we go back to breakups there is one controversial practical tip that i give which is to actually go back to the dating world as soon as possible so in, in, instead of you know like wallowing in, in pity for a month I, I recommend going get going back and starting dating very quickly. And some for some people this works very well, like for myself. But for others, they say no way. I can't connect with another person if I'm if I you know if I didn't take time to really really recover from my breakup. So I need that time. And they think that if they if they go on a date with someone, they will not be able to. You know, you know, to really be present because they will be thinking about the their ex all the time. So, yeah, it works for some people, and but it doesn't work for others. So the plan, the specific plan is different in each case. I That makes sense because there's different quote. There's different quotes about, you know, the best way to get over someone is to get underneath somebody else. <laughs> 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 That's just not healthy advice at all. And 
it, it will vary depending on the people. But what what I do find with breakups is I've had plenty of them in my life. I've had plenty of heartbreaks. But what I did find is they serve the purpose. Right, right, right. They were able to show me more about myself. Exactly. But also the uh, the things I do not want in another person. But a p- it just feels like when a breakup takes place, you know, it, it's it's abrupt. It, it it's it's, a, it's like your soul rips apart, and then you feel like a piece of you leave with that person. Do you do you agree with that? Uh, you, you know, at some level, I do agree with it. But I I hope that I you know. I've I've grown spiritually a little bit to to a level where I I think that it's actually okay to let the other person go. If I love them, it's unconditional love. And if they feel that they will be better off without me, they will be better off with someone else, you know, I still love them and I want I have their best interests at heart, so I think that yeah, they will just be I still love them. Nothing changes and I even feel better for them. Because they now they will be more be happier with right. that other person. It's accepting being able to let go, let them go, let. Yeah, sometimes that it's easier said than done. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yes, and it takes a lot, a lot of really self growth, a lot of spiritual work, a lot of inner work before you, you get to that place. And I'm certainly not there, but I, I do hope that with the work that I'm doing on myself every day, I'm I'm taking small steps. Because that that it does take work and that that will lead us right into the morning routine because that's part of doing the work on yourself. That's part of setting up that discipline to actually um, that's part of the self-development. And so I'm hearing from you. Self-development is crucial and imperative to um, to overcome a breakup. It definitely helps. Sure. It makes things so much easier. Let's segue into your morning routine. How do you get up, dress up and show up? What are some of the habits that you do that help that cast a vote towards your self-development? I I believe that my morning routine starts with actually the day before, the night before, because it it really takes going to bed uh, in a very, in a very smart way for me to have the morning, the perfect morning routine. And so what I do is I, I do my best to finish dinner as early as possible. Then I, I go to bed at the same time every day, which is around 10 p.m. Yeah. And I also read a book a little bit for maybe 10, 15 or 20 minutes in order to take my mind off, you know, like my, my current concerns or thoughts that I don't really need to take into my sleep. Yeah. So then uh, I, I track my sleep with this uh, with a sleeping app called Sleep Cycle, which I like. And it, it wakes me up in in the range of thirty minutes. So for, uh, I set it up to wake me up between three thirty a.m. and four a.m. And it wakes me up when I'm out of the deep sleep phase. Then when I wake up, I I breathe. I use the Wim Hof method to, for breathing. Then I stretch for for about five or ten minutes. Then goes my visualization when I work on one of my goals, and I really take the time to. To really, really go into into the state that I I will be in when I complete the goal, so that I I want to really feel that the goal is already accomplished, and I try to use all my five senses for that. Then I review a list that I have, which is which is um, the things that I am grateful for. So I start my morning, my day with reminding myself of all those good things that I'm, I'm blessed to have in my life, including my strength. And then I start working. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that, it, it's imperative. And we were talking about it the or before we we got going with the show is getting to sleep, to bed on time. Like we struggle in the morning because we don't go to sleep between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Like if you go to sleep after 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, then you've already missed the boat for a good morning. You've already set yourself up for failure because there's the brain chemistries, there's restorative sleep, the chemicals that takes place in our bodies that happens between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning. So if you can get those a few hours in, doesn't matter when you wake up or how many hours you get, it will be quality sleep. That is the difference. 
yeah, is it, is it rejuvenating? Is it restorative? And so just like yourself, the morning routine does start the night before and it starts with a good night's sleep. Yes, yes, yes. And th- thank you for reminding me of this and actually reinforcing because, you know, sometimes it's a challenge when when you wake up after five five hours of sleep or six hours of sleep and you, f- you still feel sleepy, you, you know, it's challenging. But reminders like this, like like you gave and the explanation that you gave, they they are so encouraging, so helpful. <laughs> thanks for motivation yeah (laughs) my pleasure thank you for sharing that Uh, i i I love your notion of a brain dump um the night before as well yeah because you are essentially just decluttering the mind right whatever you took on throughout the day whatever stressors you had throughout the day you really don't want that pressing on the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind is always working for you it's always at work for us, right? To solve our problems, um, to give us insights, to give us um, ideas for our business, for our life. And so if we go to bed with the same thoughts we had yesterday, we're going to wake up with the same thoughts the day before. Yeah, that, That's essentially what um, neg- auto- answer, um, automated negative thoughts, because we have 70,000 thoughts a day and 90% of them are the same ones from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, right? It's scary. Yeah. <laughs> And so if we're not doing the brain dump that you just mentioned and just trying to clear the mind and taking it off your chest or your head out of your head, either putting it on paper or finding the deep breathing, something to relax you before going to bed, then it's really hard for you to get, again, partake in this quality sleep. So I like that notion. It does happen with a lot of these successful entrepreneurs like yourself who come on the show. So thank you for sharing. I wanted to ask you about the breathing method. You said you use a specific method. Can you break that down for us? Yeah. Um, It's actually the Wim Hof method, the the Wim Hof, the Iceman. What I do is I lie down because it's best to breathe like this when you lie down because you relax as much as possible. Then I take about 30 deep breaths, which are just, you know, breathing in and then you let go. Breathe in, let go. And then I do, after doing this 30 breaths, I exhale completely. So I push all the air out of my lungs and then I hold my breath for as long as I can. And what this does for you is this stimulates the the deepest level of your immunity system. Immune system, yeah. It's, a, it's, a very, it's, a, it's very good for your health in terms of, you know, preventing disease. That's great. And you hold your breath at the end of the breath, after you exhale. Yeah, yeah. So you push all the air out of your lungs and then you hold your breath, right? Yeah, I haven't heard of that method. Thank you for sharing. And I'm sure my audience will find that very valuable. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's, re- it's really, you, and, and you feel it right away because you, you, you feel happy. You feel slightly lightheaded. Yeah, and you do, and you do feel happier. It, it's funny. Holding, holding your breath really makes you happier. Yeah, uh, it, it doc, Dr. Um, Joe Hunza, I think his name is, he's a neuroscience, was a chiropractor, but did a lot of research. And it's how to elevate you, your mind, mind, because you're pushing all the energy to your head against your cranium. And that actually helps with, as you said, the immune system, helps with um, anxiety, helps with being happier, helps with depression. So it's really true because I've been doing it for the past month and I've never been so calm in my life. Wow. Like, <laughs> a better way of saying it is I'm at peace with everything. Hmm. Like, it doesn't matter. Like this won't hurt me. I am not that thing. You know, I'm an entity beyond that. That's the power um, behind doing this type of meditation. It really um, takes you out of the body. Mm, right. Good point. Yeah. So I've, I've been doing it for a month. Um, I started doing it at night as well. I do it uh, in the morning. And my meditation used to be 10 minutes. It, it started with one minute, right? That's the thing with habits. You got to gradually um, introduce it. My yeah. meditation started with one minute of deep breathing. Then it went to 10 minutes of deep breathing. Now I cannot get enough. Okay. It's going to <laughs> an hour. <laughs> it's going into an hour of, of doing it because I'm seeing the benefits and I, I, I am loving the transformation because I am doing this meditation. You are also visualizing and, and picturing who you could be, who you want to become. Yes. So it's very, very powerful. And, and I'm glad you did. Sh- you share your your strategy and how you do it, um, because um, sometimes we, we 
We think we know how to breathe properly. We don't know how to breathe properly sometimes. True. True. Yeah. Roman, please tell us how can we connect with you? The best way to connect with me is through my website, which is www.romanmiranov.com. And from there, you can check out my social media profiles and whatnot. And also, of course, you know, get a free coaching conversation with me, a coaching session. I'll, I'll be happy to give one to you. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you for that offer. Roman, I thank you so much for your time and energy today. Thank you, Lenny. It's been it's been a pleasure. Your 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 energy is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> thank you so much. I want to talk to the men in the audience, and today I want to ask you: Have you ever worn a suit from the store? Was it baggy? Were the hems too long? How about the fit? Did it look like you stepped out of 1970s and looked like a broke pimp? Now, have you ever gotten a suit tailored just for you? If you've ever had a suit tailored, then you know that it's very different from buying a one size fit all suit from the store. A suit tailored just for you? Oh my, you know it fits different. The pants are different. The way you walk in it is totally different. Why? Because it fits to you and not the other way around. Let me tell you about Unique Master Tailor Studio. They have tailors around the world waiting to craft the next masterpiece made just for you. Unique Master Tailor Studio makes luxury tailored suits, shirts, vests, three-piece suits, and get this, even shoes. That's right, custom shoes. There are so many options. You can add any design, color, or any different contrast variation at no extra cost. Pretty amazing. So how does it work? Well, first you choose your fabric, over 500 choices of all 100% cotton to premium Egyptian cotton. Very classy. You can do premium solid, patterns, and even flannel shirts. Y'all, they even have water resistant fabrics. How cool is that? From there, you choose your style. You can go long sleeve, short sleeve, or if you're in between, long sleeve roll up. You can custom design the front, back of the shirt, the collar, the cuff, and even the pocket. Now that you have your style, then you go on to choose your contrast. Here you can pick a different fabric color to add an accent look. You can either have it in the inside collar and cuff, outside the collar, inside front, or outside of the shirt. From there, you get your measurement. You can do this by body size, measuring yourself using standard sizes like small, medium, large, etc. Or you can use automatic sizing by adding your height, your weight, and they will calculate your size for you. From there, you decide if you want the signature standard fit or the Euro slim fit. I mean, that is truly custom tailored, y'all. Unique Master Tailor Studio provides worldwide shipping. Let me tell you, the prices are out of this world. The custom shirts are only $49.95. You can get a custom suit, y'all, for only $219. And a three-piece suit for just $289. And that is the most expensive item on the website. Such bargain prices for top quality designs. I urge you to go to www.unique.com dot master tailor studio dot com so you can begin to dress like james bond all right morning enthusiasts that's it for today's show thank you for tuning in if you love the best morning routine ever podcast we'd love to hear from you so go ahead and subscribe rate and give a review on itunes or google play while you're at it tell a friend about the show be sure to visit bestmorningroutineever.com and our Facebook group to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic free bonus content. Until next time.